Once upon a time, there was a husband and a wife who lived next door to an enchantress named Dame Guffle. <coughs> who had a beautiful garden that was surrounded by a high wall. One day, the wife looked down onto Dame Guffle's garden and saw the most beautiful rampion. The wife desired to eat the rampion, but she knew she could not get any. So she pined away and became pale and miserable. Her husband grew alarmed. What ails you, dear wife? If I cannot have some rampion, I shall die. The husband loved his wife and decided to get her some, no matter what the cost. At twilight, he climbed over the fence, grabbed some rampion, and took it to his wife. She ate it greedily. It tasted so good that her desire for the rampion increased three times as much as before. To appease her, the husband once more climbed over the fence, but Dame Gotham <coughs> was waiting for him. You descend into my garden and steal my rampion like a thief. Thief! Thief! Please, let mercy take the place of justice. My wife saw your rampion and said she'll die if she can eat any. Well, if that's the case, you may take as much rampion as you like, under one condition. Your wife will soon give birth to a child. I get the child. The husband agreed. The new baby was given the name off. <laughs> and the child grew into the most beautiful child under this sun. She was named Rapunzel. When Rapunzel turned 12, Dame Gothel took her into the forest and shut her up in a tall tower that had no stairs and no door. There was only a small window high above the ground. When Dame Gothel came to visit, she stood under the window and called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Rapunzel had magnificent long hair, which she kept braiding. She would wind her braids around a hook on the windowsill and let the rest fall over 20 L's to the ground. Dame Gothel would climb up Rapunzel's hair to get to her. A year or two passed, and a prince, riding through a forest, heard Rapunzel sing. la da 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 He looked for a door to the tower, thank you, but couldn't find one, so he rode home. Each day, he returned to the forest to listen. Finally, one day, he saw Dame Gothel approach the tower and call. <coughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. The prince watched as the hair fell and Dame Gothel climbed up it to the window. He left and returned the next day at twilight. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Her hair fell down to him and he climbed, and up he climbed. <laughs> Your singing has captured my heart. Come to my father's palace and be my wife. He will love me more than old Dame Gotha will. Yes, I will marry you. Each time you visit me, bring a skein of silk so I can weave it into a ladder, so I can descend from this tower, and I will ride back to your castle on your horse. Because Dame Gothel came during the day, the prince visited Rapunzel each evening. Dame Gothel suspected nothing until one day Rapunzel said, Dame Gothel, tell me, why are you so much heavier for me to draw up than the princess, who will be here soon? What did you say? Why, you wicked, wicked child. I thought that I had separated you from all the world. In her anger, she clutched Rapunzel's braids and cut them off. Then she fastened them to the hook on the windowsill and by magic sent Rapunzel to live in a desert in great poof and misery. When the prince arrived, Dame Gothel was waiting for him. Aha. Aha. Your beautiful bird no longer sings in this nest. The cat has gotten it and will scratch your eyes out as well. The prince leapt from the tower and the bush broke his fall. 
but its thorns pierced his eyes and blinded him. He wandered and wandered in this condition, eating roots and berries, whilst lamenting and weeping for his poor little lost Rapunzel. <sighs> Some years passed, and he finally wandered in the to the very same desert where Rapunzel lived. Thank you. 